Olympics. I'm watching Canada against the Czechs, and you're watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. And yes, I'm in a different room because uh, it's really, really hot here and the snow is melting and it's trickling into our sump pump area. And it kind of sounds like someone is peeing in the background. So I didn't really want to film in that room. So I thought I'd bring it out here. And uh, I have a few things to talk about today. Olympics, some Montreal Canadiens at the end of the video. But first, I want to talk about this hat because I wanted to wear a Canada hat with my Canada sweater. And then I realized I don't have a Canada hat. I've got a Blue Jays hat, but I can't wear a Blue Jays hat. I mean, that's baseball and I've worn it on the channel before, but I really wanted to wear a Canada hat. Didn't have one. So I thought I'd wear this, oh, Ottawa Senators hat, but then it kind of worked, oh, Canada, oh, Canada. You get it, okay, bad joke. But anyways, Olympics. Canada beat Finland. Germany beat Sweden. What? <laughs> How's, how's that even possible? That's a huge upset. That's a miraculous upset. I could not believe that when I saw it. So I'm not really gonna talk about the game specifically. I wanna talk about the overall question that I have for myself and for you guys mainly. It's the entire reason I'm making this video is to get your guys' opinion. If Canada or the USA, and the USA is already out of it, but treat this as a hypothetical, hypothetical question before the Olympics started. If Canada or the, or the USA didn't win gold or even a medal at this year's Olympics, would that be good for the NHL or bad for the NHL? So what I mean by that is if, if the NHL players sitting at home watching the Olympics, wishing they were there, see their countries, whether it's the USA or Canada or any country really, they see their country fail, would that make them want to be like, okay, that's... It, that gives us reason to be there. We want next Olympics. We have to be there to reclaim the title or to get revenge or whatever. Because if Canada and the USA both got medals or even one of them got medals, say say the USA went and got gold, would the USA players in the NHL be like, well, well, why do we have to go to the next Olympics and we can win it anyway, regardless of who goes? So, I think it, this is going to sound strange, but I think. The best thing for the NHL, for the majority of fans, and for the majority of players, is that Canada and the United States doesn't get any medals. Because it'll force the players to bring up the argument in the next CBA negotiations that, hey, we should be there. We should be there representing our countries. We should be there getting revenge from the previous Olympics. We should be there uh, competing with our country mates. We shouldn't be sitting home uh, in the NHL when, when all other previous Olympics in the past 20 years, we were over there. So it's really tough. It's, it, it's a tough thing to say that it would be a good thing to see Canada and the USA losing the Olympics for the NHL, but I, I think it's kind of right. Now, it, it was, wouldn't be a bad thing if Canada and the USA won for, for everybody. I mean, obviously, they want to see their country win. But uh, And I know hockey, some hockey fans out there are happy that there's no NHL uh, players in the Olympics this year. And there's nothing wrong with that opinion. I don't share that opinion, but there's nothing wrong with it. I understand the other side of the argument. But in my opinion, the Olympics are much more exciting when NHL players are there. Now, there are some good players on Team Canada. There are some good players on uh, the USA team, but it just doesn't feel the same. It just doesn't have that same experience for me. It's it's different when you can see the, the best Canadian players or USA players picked from their individual teams on the NHL, all these superstars, and then put together and watch them uh, meld and, and you know, just a camaraderie Com camaraderie yeah. between all the guys and just them w watching them come together is maybe the most enjoyable experience of everything so even just for that alone I, I would like to see that but I really do think it's a good thing for hockey fans who want NHL players to go to the Olympics to have Canada or USA not get a medal in these Olympics 
it's a it's kind of a wild theory uh, l let me know how you feel about it down in the comment section i'm not sure if it even makes sense i'm not very good at, at explaining things so but let me know it down in the comments how you feel about that or do you have the total opposite opinion and like i said there's nothing wrong with the other side of the argument on on anything it's just uh it's always good to discuss it so discuss it in the comments so i read all the comments i don't have time to reply to all the comments but I, I definitely read them all and i appreciate you guys uh throwing some engagement on the channel so thanks for that the last thing i wanted to discuss today was just a few moves that the montreal canadians made in the last couple of days uh two things it's it's kind of sad when the best news out of the canadians camp is that the best news in the past three years out of the canadians camp is that they signed nicolas delorier that's the best news out of Montreal in three years that they signed Nicolas Delorier? You know there's problems when, right? It's just, it's, it's really frustrating being a Canadians fan. I, I want to talk about their problems, but at the same time, I don't because it's just turned into a word that I can't even say on this channel. But uh, Anyways, very happy with that signing. Uh, I love Nicolas Delorier. He's a one of the only players in the team who gives 110% each uh, and every night, him and Gall Gallagher. Uh, the rest of the people in the team, it's tough. It's tough here. The next move they made was they traded uh, with Washington and they gave away, That's I won't use that term, they traded away, uh, now there's, some confusion on this guy's name. I've heard it pronounced so many things. Uh, Jakob Jerebek, Jakob Jerebek, Jakob Jedrebek, um, Jacob Jerebek. Just all these. Like I, I, I wish the announcers would speak to the players one on one and be like, "Hey, how do you pronounce your name?" Because I don't want to get it wrong. Because who is it? I think it's. Is it John Bartlett that does the Canadians games? He has said his name four different ways this year. So please, please just find out what it is. I say Jakob Yerbeck, so that's what I'm going to say. So the Canadians traded Jakob Yerbeck to Washington for a fifth round pick. It's an interesting move. I was really confused by it at the, uh, or at the start when I first heard it because he's going to be a UFA. He's, he's on a team that really struggles with uh, on, on the back end, they don't have barely any puck moving defensemen. He he's one of the few, and they gave him away. Kind of confusing, but with him being a UFA, I'm wondering if they don't circle back to him in the off season, July 1st, and pick him back up. Because if they felt like they could potentially lose him anyway, then I guess why not get rid of him now, regardless, and get a fifth round pick. I mean, nothing's probably going to going to amount from that fifth round pick, but it's better than nothing, right? So I, I understand the trade in a way, but I still don't like it. So those are my two cents on all of the things. Let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel on all of the topics that I mentioned. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Uh, there'll be another one tomorrow in the other room. Uh, this is a, a rare event here. If you guys send in any mail, that's where it goes, on the shelf back there. Not all of it's there because there's just not enough room, but most of it is there. So I'll, once we get this room set up some more, there's a frame down here. I don't know if you can see it. And there's a Jets thing down here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, I need to hang those up all in the room. Once that happens, uh, I'll do a tour of this man cave where I watch all the hockey games. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.